This is TJ from Smokescreen Design. Wanted to jump in on a discussion that I heard today. That uh, this was something that came up a really long time ago by Jaron talking about the eight inch drop and about how there could be eight inches between each people, but a bigger drop be when you go between multiple people and how that could really accumulate into a curve. The curve amount like it does and so today on uh, Jaron and Bob and there was uh, a Trinity 4 I think it was discussing this and this is what I believe Trinity 4's position is and the problem he says that 8 inch per mile square does not work this was what I took from it um, wasn't very clear to me uh, what his problem is but I'm going to show um, why it does work on a ball and how to correctly look at the measurements in each person or each point on a globe. So here's um, here's what I believe the argument is. The argument is that you start at a point and you're just using a mile, you go over a mile and now you've got a drop. So one mile you're going to have an eight inch drop and let's see this. I was hoping that this line would have been. Okay, there we go. Let's try to change the color of the line. So we're going to go over, and then we've got our line. What the, oh my gosh. Uh, let me try this. Okay. Trying to get it to be a color that's actually going to stand out. All right, so we start from the point A or the person at the top of the ball. You go over one mile, and what I did is I created squares here before I moved this line up, near perfect squares. So I've got them all spaced out across these numbers up and down the seam. So near perfect. Um, so just going to represent the square just a mile. Uh, we know this is not to scale because if I scaled this out a mile, you're not going to see an 8 inch drop and I'm not going to get that on my computer screen to really see anything. So this is just for a representation of what I'm talking about. So we go from point A to point B, one mile, and we got an 8 inch drop so we can see the angle. But then um, what we do, uh, so here, here's the... Here's the discussion. Discussion is you go from point A to point B. Uh, that's going to be one mile. It's going to be one mile. That's your eight inch drop. But then you go to the next person, which this is the next point. You go to the next point. You go to the next point. So the first one I'm just doing and the next one. First one I'm doing the drop. All right. So we've got here's our drop. And this is what's being said is you go over eight inches and then this is where the problem is being dressed up. Well, if you go from the next point to the next point, well, that's eight inches. You go from the next point to the next point, well, that's eight inches. You go to the next point, that's eight inches, that's eight inches. That's only um, eight, 16, um, 24, 32, 40. That's only 40 inches. That's not this big curvature drop that people talk about so this just can't work because you're going from point a to point b that's eight point b to point c that's eight point c to point d that you just can't have where's this big drop at taking place where's this it's it's only inches we're not talking feet and feet so that's that's the problem that's being brought up and i'm going to show you why or how this is incorrectly being looked at and the correct way to look at this, okay? Uh, so what we tend to do is when we're looking at measurements, we're like, oh, we'll go from point A to point B, and then we'll go from point B to point C or person, okay? And then we're gonna go from person, whoops, what was going on here, back up. 
go from person C to person D, and person D to person E. Now, what we see is we've kind of got these giant drops. Like this here, if this represents that eight inch per mile squared, I don't want to forget that, eight inch per mile squared drop, well, look how big these angles are. It just doesn't make really any sense. Well, here's the correct way we need to look at this. The correct way we need to look at this is that what I showed you before was a slope. That's a straight line. That's not a curved line. When you're dealing with drops and you're dealing with measurements, you're dealing with point A to point B, point A to point C, person, point whatever. When you're dealing with this, you have to look at it on a curve. None of this is looking at it on a curve. You know this looks like it is. So this first one would be accurate, but what we need to do is the same thing for point B, C, D, E. We need to, we need to do a 90 to degree uh, measurement. So this right here, you've got this person, you've got this point, we've got this 90 degree intersection. That's what, that's what we need. So this is correct. Now, what we need to do, and not very easy to do this with um, Photoshop, or at least my knowledge of using it, I need to do a 90 degree drop from person A, I'm sorry, person B to person C. So from their position, I need to do 90 degrees, and I'm just trying to guess here what 90 degrees might be. Now what I need to do from this person to this one, I need to do a 90 degree, and again, I'm I'm trying to just picture this line 90 degrees right here. And then this one, try to go 90 degrees as well. Not easy looking at it this way. Um, so if we look at, uh, I mean, a little distorted because trying to find a 90 degree angle off of a circle at these different, around these different curves, if you see these angles, they look a lot better. Um, not perfect. Some of them may look a little deeper than maybe they should be just because I'm trying to nail 90 and kind of hard to do. So if you look at person A to person B, this would be an 8 inch drop. Person B to person C, this would be an 8 inch drop. Person C to person D, 8 inch. Person, um, this drop might be bigger just because of how this all lined out. But uh, so you got this person, this person might be a little bit bigger drop just because this is a longer, um, longer box, whatever. So anyway, you see that these could be 8 inch drops between each person. But if you look from person A to person C, that is a much larger drop than eight inch because you're dealing with a person at their 90 degree point on where they are on a curve away from the other person. If you look at person B and person D, we also see a big drop. So when you go out, you know, a couple, then you see a bigger drop. Uh, but you also can see how it is that there could be an eight inch drop between each person, but then also that there is a bigger drop once you space out two to three to four or more miles or boxes out. So this is how you correctly look at it. You have to think about it on the curve. You have to look at it on a curve and measure from each person's position 90 degrees away from them and then that's how you um, can see the drop that's actually taking place while there's still just small drops from person A to person B, person C to person D, etc, etc, etc. So this really should clear up um, the issue that's taken place and I believe that whether it's 8 inches per mile squared or 4 inches mile squared or 12 inches or 24, whatever the ball size is, because some people want to say it's bigger than they think they're telling us, or whatever you think the ball is supposed to be in this fantasy world, that this does actually work. And it's not just 
um, putting down math unless someone can show me that it actually doesn't work. It uh, it does. You can't just grab um, some circle and put some giant object straight across and say it doesn't work. So this is, um, I know I've seen in before in AutoCAD where, yeah, it does work. Um, and this is based off a perfect ball, which they tried telling us that the Earth is not a perfect ball or whatever. Continue to mess around with our, our minds. But this is how it works. And if you still have any questions on it, feel free to ask. But this should really clear up that 8 inches, mile, eight inches per mile squared and how it can work when you got eight inches between each person, but then deeper curves down.